Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 23rd of August. Indian PM Narendra Modi announced support for BRICS expansion. Pakistan Christians terrified after mob attacks over blasphemy claims. And UN says over 200 former Afghan military officials killed since Taliban takeover. And now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday called on BRICS nation for joint efforts and collaboration in space, education and technology sector in order to make the diplomatic bloc a future-ready organization. In his remarks at the BRICS summit, PM Modi welcomed the importance given to countries of Global South and said their aspirations are the need of the present times. The Indian Prime Minister also announced the support of BRICS expansion based on consensus. Excellency, Bharat BRICS ki sadhasita mein vistar ka pura samarthan karta hai. Aur is mein consensus ke saath aage badne ka swagat karta hai. 2016 mein Bharat ki adhikta ke dauran humne BRICS ko building responsive इंक्लूसिव एंड कलेक्टिव सॉल्यूशन से परिभाषित किया था सात साल बाद हम कह सकते हैं कि ब्रिक्स विल बी ब्रेकिंग बैरियर्स रिवाइटलाइजिंग इकोनॉमीज इंस्पायरिंग इनोवेशन क्रिएटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड शेपिंग द फ्यूचर BRICS, the diplomatic bloc of emerging economies, is home to almost 40% of the world's population and a quarter of global gross domestic product. The bloc, which is weighing on expanding membership, has at least 40 countries expressing interest in joining the bloc. Moving on, in a historic moment for human space exploration, India's Chandrayaan-3 has successfully made its soft landing on the moon's unexplored South Pole, making the country first in the world to do so. Take a look. India on Wednesday made a historic touchdown as the country's Chandrayaan-3 made its soft landing on the moon's unexplored South Pole after a 40-day journey, making the country first ever to do so. Chandrayaan-3 will remain functional for two weeks to run a series of experiments including a spectrometer analysis of the mineral composition of the lunar surface. People across the country were seen glued to television screens. The tremendous amount of effort that has been put in by the entire project team, when I say project team, which is not just only uh, the project director and uh, associate project director, of course, they are the face of the project. They have been living, sleeping, eating, breathing Chandrayaan for the last four years. They have been supported by such a large number of people, particularly in the uh, navigation, guidance and control area. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country and maybe be beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and, and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years. This was India's second attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon and comes less than a week after Russia's Luna 25 mission failed. The successful moon landing marks India's emergence as a space power as New Delhi looks to spur investment in private space launches and related satellite-based businesses. Days after a Muslim mob vandalized and torched several Christian settlements and churches over allegations of desecration of Quran and blasphemy, Pakistani Christians say they are afraid of going back to their home as they fear of getting attacked again. They lamented that their safety is not assured and they are still in shock as they have to start from scratch again. 
Police and residents said the attack started after someone took allegedly desecrated pages of the Muslim holy book, the Quran, to a mosque prayer leader, which was followed by announcements calling for punishment. However, the police have arrested two Christian brothers and has overall arrested 160 people accused for desecrating the Quran. We are shift because we are scared because they have done a lot of good things with us. तो हम अब नहीं चाहते कि हमारे घर का थोड़ा सा सामान है वो कहीं तो दिली सोच और ख्वाहिश ये है कि मैं ना तहफ़ चाहती हूँ मैं वहाँ पे दोबारा नहीं जाना चाहती अपनी जवान बच्चियों को लेके मुझे रियायश के लिए कोई तहफ़ ऐसी अच्छी सी जगह चाहिए मेरे दिल में खौफ जो पड़ गया मेरे बच्चों को मेरे में वो नहीं जा रहा तो मैं उन पाँच मुसलमान घरों में अब अपनी अकेली क्रिस्टन में वहाँ रह कर नहीं बनाना चाहती The incident has again put a spotlight on Pakistan's draconian blasphemy law, which critics blame is often misused against minorities to settle personal scores. Blasphemy is punishable by death in Pakistan, but no one has ever been executed, although numerous people have accused of blasphemy have been lynched by outraged mobs in the past. The UN mission in Afghanistan on Tuesday in its latest report stated that more than 200 members of Afghanistan's former military, law enforcement and government have been killed since the Taliban took over in 2021. The mission said it had recorded at least 218 extrajudicial killings with links to the Taliban and in most instances individuals were detained by Taliban before being killed. In total, UNEMA had recorded 800 incidents of human rights violations connected with the Taliban against former government employees and military, including arbitrary arrests, disappearance and torture. However, Taliban leaders have denied state-sanctioned extrajudicial killings or targeting people who fought in or worked for the foreign-backed former government. Despite promising a moderate administration compared with their previous stint in power in the 1990s, the Taliban has imposed its strict interpretation of Islamic law by enforcing harsh rules, banning girls' education and barring Afghan women from public life and most work. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, on Tuesday called on international community for a renewed commitment and financial support to sustain the humanitarian response for Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh. In a report, the Refugee Agency said the decline in funds have adversely affected the well-being of nearly 1 million refugees and any further cuts to the Rohingya response will severely impact access to food, shelter materials and other livelihood activities. The community, which has fled after a crackdown by Myanmar military, had taken refuge in Bangladesh almost six years ago, although some have been there for longer. However, densely populated Bangladesh has maintained repatriation to Myanmar is the only solution to the crisis. Newly appointed Chief Justice of Nepal, Bishombar Prasad Sreshtha on Tuesday assumed office after receiving the oath of office by President Ramchandra Podil. Shreshtha, who was the most senior judge following the retirement of Chief Justice Hari Krishna Karki, was unanimously endorsed by the parliament for leading the judiciary. He will helm the judicial office for 14 months until he reaches the mandatory retirement age of later next year. A report by the Kathmandu Post suggests appointment of judges and reduction of case overload will be the initial challenges for the Shreshtha as Chief Justice. Deemed as the largest marine aquarium in India, the marine world which has opened up in Kerala this week is attracting a lot of visitors. Take a look. India's largest marine aquarium which has opened in Kerala's Thrissur is attracting visitors in large numbers. Named the marine world, the site located on the shores of the Panchavadi Sea is a setup of more than 120 aquariums. The aquarium houses different types of fish like piranha, stingray, shark, starfish, electric eel, as well as lobsters and turtles. It was an, uh, three to four years of uh, good visiting time. We have a lot of uh, different types of fishes and having a good experience here and my kid was enjoying a lot. The aquarium built on four acres of land in Thrissur can accommodate up to 2,000 people on holidays. Fish therapy, fish feeding and other activities are also available at the aquarium that can be enjoyed by both kids and adults. This is the first time we are visiting the underwater aquarium and that was so good. It was a magical experience. 
like uh, we have only seen in the pictures and the videos uh, but it was so good uh, and uh, we had uh, a fish spa uh, and that was so good uh, like uh, we had a very relaxing session there that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.